Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Megan has worried fan when she got upset about Lily so, what is it that exactly spiraled out of control in Colombia, again, and how will the recent emotional flare-ups, coupled with massive disruptions, affect this time around? Reckless Decisions of Megan and Harry Megan had unintentionally dragged her kids in this one and Lily was caught directly in the crosshairs. We talk of Lily as if she is here, but only God knows really, number 77. Phew, Meghan Markle really isn't quick to anger is she? This is true for all employees who leave Montecito. But altogether, when it came to this occasion on their recent global tour in Colombia, the number of revelations outnumbered its count. Well, it is funny because Megan obviously wants this her way. 64 65 SL underscore Hyde, as we have discussed earlier in this show, that is worrisome. In a recent CBS interview with Jane Polly, she said of her kids, Our children are amazing. And all people desire to do is fucking believe her. It's all about protecting them from dangers out there, but nobody seemed to notice. Of course, this has given rise to an endless number of theories. So one can ask, where are these children and has anyone seen one of them? I have not actually heard any of this mentioned by anyone, or a good friend for that matter. Megan has been hiding this crisis like a plot. And this happened in Colombia. Are you not tired of Megan using the kids as pawn in her game? Comment one number if you are bored of it and a second number is fine with this. So you know something went down in Colombia. Megan clutched the mic head again, as in a vice. And she started telling her now famous story. It reads like a mysterious story she might share with you, how, almost as if by accident and prompted through her own childhood letter writing campaign to the soap company at age 11, she claims to have changed the world. And, of course, we all know the mastermind behind this was her father, Thomas Markle, TV ace and lighting guy. Megan, however, doubles down on everything she said before and will not back away from that narrative. Well, then she started talking about the joy that entered her life if you remember. The audience was clearly fading, so it didn't look like her story gave much joy from the crowd. Then she came to the discussion of work and resistance and said that no one sees her daughter Lily, Lilibet or Princess Lily, and you get it. If she wants you to call her anything, call her luck. And it turns out Megan was, um, learning to use her voice. One of the most responsible thing I do as a mother is role modeling to my daughter who at three has found her voice. This is really something we all should be proud of, because as I keep saying this beget conditions and then the ripple effect. Yes, you are correct. A three-year-old asserting their independence by screaming, there is your problem, guys. Megan, meanwhile, says she has found her voice. Even if that is the case, she could be giving remarks as early as in a second. Who knows? She'll also be singing into a microphone by the time she's like, five if she is anything like her mama right? Already you are starting to think a little, but the real complication occurs under the hood. Remember that big screen she was standing in front of when you first tuned into the stage? Politely, Someone suggested that maybe she could post a lovely photo of her hugging Lily to emphasize the fact that they are both mothers. But no, oh, dear lord, that was never going to happen. The news shocked Franny Marquez, who had assumed the children would be involved, as she said, and shown here on a cell phone video, promises were made. They nearly went into meltdown, so Franny could not quite believe what was happening. By that point, they were allowed not even the use of a single photo. Prince Harry, it was said by insiders who were familiar with the Sussexes' plans, has been keen on doing so, but as always he got no foreign answer. And why? It does not get any more ironic than that, the wonderful and empowering story of your daughter finding her voice and becomings an amazing woman who you refuse to show. Naturally, this has only fanned the flames of speculation and intrigue about why they keep their two kids so cloaked in mystery. Megan's latest cry was all about Lily, 
yet aced it as she used public speaking skills for her campaign to finally push out some positive press. Megan never comes face to face with her own arrogance and ridiculousness still, which is why I cannot really bring myself to fully love the character. Such a pity that she is blind to how her father handed her everything, only for him to be repaid with ingratitude. Her claim to the children absent a biological connection is suspect, as we continue to debate whether they should even be in line for succession. For the past decade, I have banged on ad nauseum about how royal bloodlines should be traced by whose Stone Age men mated within pairs of two and where Wakesh happened. If Meghan was given a partial hysterectomy, as the reports say, then King Charles should have started with this clarification, rather than letting it become worse. This is not a matter of they can be seen therefore we get to say what happens next, their privacy still counts. Children or no children, life goes on. And if Meghan had children, I guarantee you they would be similarly exploited for profit, as a continuation of the royal comparisons. This put an end to the provocation of Catherine, Princess of Wales. The naming of their daughter Lilibet was not only wrong, but disrespectful. Otherwise is just downright comical, the public hasn't been presented with a child to see and she's spouted nonsense for three years finding her voice. This is not respectful of the child's privacy or alternate milestones. Lily has a voice because she is being raised by a couple who are comfortably off enough to afford affluent service workers and neither her night nor morning sleep are interrupted. No parent would ever say this unless they were drawing on tragicomic levels of privilege, the life jackpot equivalent of Monty Python's for Yorkshireman sketch rewritten with buggy primrose yoga mat routines. This gives her a sense of accomplishment that she inspired the ripple. How absurd. Apparently, in true narcissist style, Meghan Markle does not want to share the limelight, certainly not with her own child. It makes you wonder, with so many worried about these potential children, why no welfare check has been done. It's strange to teach a daughter that she must be extraordinarily different and fight for her voice when all other children in their country are already entitled to it. It's sad to hear their son is being told he has to stay silent and let his sister take the spotlight. Shouldn't children be treated equally? I thought most people stopped imposing segregated gender roles on children decades ago. Everywhere she goes, Megan repeats the same slogans, with just a few tweaks here and there, always using those irritating buzzwords. Maybe she's holding out for a profitable opportunity involving the kids, like official photos or a documentary series. Murchy and Lillibucks aren't nicknames for nothing. Harry and Meghan are probably teaching their kids unhealthy habits. Mommy is in charge. Mommy talks. Daddy listens and obeys. As a result, Archie could be raised to believe he should stay in the background, unseen and unheard. If the children exist, they will likely face many challenges. If they do, the state of California should conduct a welfare check. Harry and Meghan should lose custody because neither is fit to be a parent. It's as simple as that. Her children are her source of income, bargaining chip, and tool for controlling the royal family. However, what Meghan fails to realize is that these are actual human beings who will eventually grow up and understand their role in all this. Meghan should start thinking about her exit plan now. Best of luck to her. Ha ha. Just like Archie, Lily must be hidden. A DNA test would reveal the truth. It seems Megan is hiding something, likely fearing that the lies will unravel once people see the children. It's even possible the kids are with their biological parents, who want to avoid the attention that Harry and Megan seek. How much longer will we be shown the same photo of Lily, who is supposedly three years old now? It's strange that only one image has been released. When Megan talks about a child no one ever sees, it only raises more doubts and adds to negative perceptions. Some of the things they say sound like they have no idea how to raise children. Notice how Megan emphasizes the word mother when talking about her parenting, it doesn't go unnoticed. Many are skeptical of Megan's claim of having children. In the background, some of the flowers look like begonias. Perhaps the lack of photos is meant to maintain the mystery and attract more media attention. 
pity the poor children, Megan has even admitted that parenting at this age is a struggle for her. If she is their role model, they may never learn proper manners or how to respect personal boundaries. Instead, they might learn to push people away. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.